Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of division, specifically how we can divide with area models, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's say we have a pretty large division problem, 939, let's say that's going to be divided by 6. So we're going to look at an alternate method uh, than the standard algorithm. This is called the area model. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a series of boxes. And one of the benefits of the area model is that it does not need to be precise. When you're using the standard algorithm, you need to know things exactly. But you have a little bit of room uh, to build numbers and chunks with the area model. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our divisor. That's the 6. And we're going to start with uh, our total. So right now it's still 939. The key with the area model is that we need to know the trick for multiplying numbers uh, with tens, hundreds, or multiples of 10 and 100. So we know that, let me give you an example. So let's say 6 times 10 is 60, right? Because we know that that's 6 with a 0 afterward. 6 uh, times 100 is 600 because it's a 6 with two zeros after it. So if you multiply any number by 10 or 100, you're just putting one or two zeros after after that. The reason that works is let's take a look at six times twenty. Six times twenty is one hundred and twenty. Because what you do is you multiply the two non-zero digits, six times two, and then you add that zero, just like you did over here. So six times two hundred is going to be, well, six times two is twelve. And you add your two zeros after that, 1,200. So we're going to need this because we're going to try to figure out six times what is going to get us close to 939. And if we don't get close, that's perfectly fine. We can add additional boxes off to the side. So I'm going to start with, let's say, 50. Oh, I don't want to go over by 939. So six times 50, what's that going to be? Well, remember my six times my other non-zero digit is a 5, so 6 times 5 is 30, add that 0, that's going to be 300. So 50 chunks of 6 is going to be 300. So let's 639. That's my new total. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another box, and I'm going to bring my 639. Now if I want to, I could do 50 two more times because 300 and 300 is going to give me 600. But let's see if I can just put those together. What happens if I just do 600? So 6 times 100, well, that's going to be 600. Aha! Now I only have 39 left. So that's a fact that I should know. So I've got 39. You don't want to go over, so let's say 6. It should be 6. 6 times 6 is 36, and so I finally have 3 left over. Once your remainder is smaller than your divisor, that means you are done dividing. So what's the answer? Well, what we do is we just take all of our partial dividends up here and we add them up. So 50 and 106 is going to equal 156, and then we have to keep that remainder of 3. So how can we double check our work? Well, what we do is we take our 156. That's our answer. And we multiply that back by your divisor. So let's multiply that by 6. So that's going to be 36. And that's going to be 30. Add that 3. It's going to be 33. And then 6 times 1 is 6. Add that 3. That's going to be 9. You might be thinking, oh... We're, we're off. We're missing a few. Well, that's because we have that remainder 3. You've got to add that back in. Now you've got your 939. So that's your check right there. Now, what does this look like with long division? So the standard algorithm of long division is going to be a little bit quicker, but the problem is, is you need precision. There's no room for chunking numbers out like we did with 150 and if you make one mistake, the whole thing kind of falls apart. So this might be a little bit quicker over here with the long division, but it's a lot more rigid. 